guests, on today's episode, we're building a gingerbread smart home, brought to you by Patreon. Where do we start? Let's open one of these houses up. Oh no, this one came broken. This is the snack one. This is why I brought three. Okay, here's the plan. First, I don't have a plan. Somehow, I've got to like glue these things together and then put a bunch of electronics on the inside and then put on the roof and then decorate it. What am I gluing it on to? I've never made a gingerbread house before. This will be our base. We put a few things. Uh, first of all, we've got um, some coloring so that I can add detail. Uh, this, which I'm, uh, I've never used before, but Joseph tells me that it's the right thing to use. More decorations. And then I got whatever baking glue is. How do I use this? Edible glue used for building gingerbread house. Put the tube in uh, warm water. I want to taste it first. It tastes like very sweet Greek yogurt. You want to try some? It's going to try really with sugar in it. <laughs> Uh, let's get a tub of <laughs> warm water. Doesn't feel tall enough. Never mind, it bends. <laughs> I'm gonna open the other one. Is this one broken? It's not. I have some gingerbread. <laughs> Thank you. you really do have to buy multiples of these because like it has parts that are either broken or misshapen, like the front of this one. Do I need a debearing tool for this? It works surprisingly well. I'm surprised they don't sell these in IKEA. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you enjoy what I do here, support me on Patreon. Some of it went in my mouth. <laughs> I didn't plan to do this, but it's very satisfying. <laughs> These are all the useful parts that we're going to use for the actual house construction. These are all the edible parts. I decided that to familiarize myself with the uh, gluing the home together process, I'm going to make a smaller box. And since the washing machine video has been very popular recently, I'm going to make a tiny version of my washing machine with the roof. So I need four sides. And we'll chop those down in half. Hopefully that's half. Now we need a top and the bottom. It's actually quite satisfying to cut up gingerbread like this. Is this going to be taller than the actual house? Somewhat. <laughs> okay, we'll trim it down slightly more. You know how on production lines they have um, <laughs> quality assurance? And every so often they just go, yum. <laughs> so I feel like right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This seems softer. Let's try using it. I think I've only softened it on the back side. It's the hardest fuck on the front. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back into the water you go. <laughs> mm. And give it that, it holds. Might as well do the whole area. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I've never had to grip anything that hard in my life. Put that in to trim this even more. You know that guy that makes a, a lot of random shit out of chocolate? I have a lot more respect for him now. Looks more like an outhouse than a, um, than a washing machine. <laughs> Don't you fucking there fall apart. Look at that. Admittedly, it, um, it looked better in my imagination. <laughs> that, that's something. Somebody. Let's get some detail in there. What color should I make the washing machine? I'm gonna go for green. <laughs> Somewhat festive looking washing machine. <laughs> I might put more colors in the drum. Okie dokie, that's my washing machine. It's stupid, but I kind of like it. 
I guess we'll move on to the house now. What are you supposed to start with? Is there instructions? There are no instructions. How am I supposed to like hold this whilst I'm making it? Washing machine? Stand right there for me, please. Thank you. Okay, I'll put glue on this first. I'll do this side too, because then I won't be able to get to it. That sticks onto there. Look at that. That's my other thing. That goes on the back here. Now I can do the other half. Okay, that looks somewhat like a house. If I try to make the roof and the spare roof into a floor, it would. The spare roof would be now a floor. Oh, I'm so dumb. The, ha the house goes in between, not on it. Okay, well, the outside's gonna work. The roof isn't correctly sized, so now there's a gap. All right, now that we've got the structure of the house assembled, it's time for the electronics. Now, uh, I've assembled these earlier, and um, I didn't exactly know the dimensions of the house, so I thought the windows were a lot bigger than they are. I thought they were going to be this size. Uh, they are not this size. They are much, much smaller. I'm going to have to cut these down. It only needs to be about this big. I'm glad I applied my safety squints. Luckily, I've got a new pair. Okay, so... Ah, ah, the whole thing fell apart. Oh, I've worked so hard to come this far. And in the end, it doesn't even matter. Maybe it's because I keep eating the glue. I'm going to hopefully glue that on so that it's there and it covers up the window and then the, the other servo will be on the other side over here. Now, yes, I know the house has six windows, but uh, I only have two servos, so it's only going to be the front windows that are smart. I'm just going to glue these down in with the, uh, with the glue we're using for the house, I guess. Anyone ever glued on a servo with um, <laughs> gingerbread house glue? And hopefully... I'll be honest, I won't be swapping out my uh, hot glue gun for uh, <laughs> edible glue anytime soon. I'm not very confident in this. Servo number two. Big fat blubby. I'm gonna have to add reinforcement paste to this wall. <laughs> reinforcement paste. Reinforce the house, or you? Oh no, which one's closer to crumbling? Don't. I think they're holding on. I think. Oh no, how am I getting power in there? Through the hole you made on the other side. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh no, god damn it. Reinforcement. The more I eat the glue, the more I don't like it. Okay, let's leave this aside to set and we will focus on the roof. Okay, so I need to put the LEDs on this roof, like so. Ah, the adhesive is not very good. Okie dokie. I need these LEDs for the, um, for the expansion of my uh, Patreon sign, so hopefully <laughs> this isn't gonna corrode them. Oh, I hope you don't mind. Uh, according to my schedule, we're doing a live stream on Christmas Day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not doing a live stream on Christmas Day, don't worry. <laughs> what if I, like, use the air compressor to cool it down quicker? Don't forget to subscribe. It tastes good. This is gonna be stupidly cumbersome because I now have to put this in the house, connect the servos, connect power, and then glue the roof on. This will be an interesting maneuver. If this house doesn't stay together, I will use hot glue. These have to plug into here. One, 
two, three. All right, let's put it back together. Let's not back together, let's put it together. So I need to put the glue on here first and then put both of these on at the same time whilst pushing this down. Nothing can go wrong. Oh, you piece of shit. Sorry, this one's under extruding. Get in the box. One, two, I made those out of these a little too close to the thing. Okay. What does that look? <laughs> you know the meme they did surgery on a grape? <laughs> I'm doing surgery on the gingerbread house. <laughs> right, let's move on to the chimney. Where am I going with the chimney? Do I feel like an end of the house or a middle of the house kind of chimney? Middle. Middle it is. Okay. I guess chimney is done. I have no trust in this roof. <laughs> Heating up with water is just too slow. I am as surprised as you are that that worked. <laughs> you can put your washing machine in there. <laughs> um, the washing machine will spend its Christmas outside this year. Santa delivered it. We'll put a bow on top. It'll be like Santa's tried dropping off a Christmas present, but it didn't fit for the chimney. <laughs> oh, I love that explanation. <laughs> there, we'll put it in like that. Put a little bow on the roof. Actually, I'll make a bow all the way around. It'll look prettier. Because when I made this, this the washing machine smart, and then everybody liked it, and now it's like a present. This fucking washing machine is the only reason I'm I'm in the YouTube partnership right now. <laughs> there we go. Big old present from Santa. The only thing left is to decorate it. So um cue the time lapse. So, after hours of work, here is my gingerbread smart home. It's my first gingerbread home ever. And it's so cute. Look, we've got we've got the washing machine on top because Santa couldn't deliver it because it wouldn't fit through the uh, through the chimney or through the door, so it's on the roof. We've got solar panels because it's a smart home, and then we have like a, a power bank thingy here. It doesn't look very good. I, I drew it. And then and then we have we have art everywhere and then we got kind of bored when it got to the side so they're kind of plain and then and then joseph did the back side and he kept it more on brand than i have so yeah and he's got a cute little santa look at his santa <laughs> so yeah let's uh let's go over the smart features so i've got a d1 mini in there with two servos and an led strip and that's hosting a little website that i can go on and like change a bunch of things so I can change the color to yellow and then I can change the other strip color to blue and then I can like open and close the windows thank you very much for watching this episode of Mellow Labs I hope you enjoyed it if you did Share your uh, enthusiasm down below and uh, have a good rest of the year. See you next year, I guess. Goodbye.